How are you guys? Welcome back to Trusted Gem, Goddess Quito. You can call me Quito, either one would do. I answer to both. Um, please like, share, subscribe, donate. Um, hit that notification bell so that every time that I upload a video, you are notified. Um, my email is in the description box below if you'd like to book a session with me each for each thing. Is the pricing is there? Is there? Is there? So, um, uh, if you want a reading or something with me, some kind of one on one session, just hit me up in my um, email and I will be sure to get back with it, get back to you within the next uh, 48 hours. Thank you. Um, like I said, um, please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that jazz, leave authentic. Positive, as positive as you can and as, as authentic as you can. Comments, um, all that good jazz. <sighs> Just get the greeting out the way, you guys. This is going to be a reading about my person's heart. What is in my person's heart towards me? 111 on the clock at 848. What is in my person's heart towards me? We have the King of Cups, so that is his signifier or her signifier, and we have the King of Pentacles. So this person feels very secure and safe, um, very emotional, but I have it at the beginning and the end. The King can be kind of closed off too, so just take that in mind. But around the King is the, um, the healing card, so they feel like... You're very healing. You bring a lot of luck, a lot of changes, a, a lot of um, gentleness, uh, a lot of kindness and sensitivity. Um, but what's actually in their heart is not so good. They're, they're fixing in their heart and they're um, a lot of worry and fear in their heart. It's a lot of betrayal in their heart, a lot of defeat and failure and insolence. It's a lot of um, hopelessness in their heart. It's a lot of comp competition, struggle, event. Like this person sees all this good, good glory about you, and it it, it brings it brings up all kind of insecurities, all kind of fear, all kind of uh, uh, disempowerment, um, doubts, um, fruitlessness, overthinking, and captivity. Because this person hasn't did the actual work to actually you know overcome their demons so here we are with this person have a lot of competition in their heart so they may be on the outward they may be showing you that they're not competitive that in the outward they're showing you like oh i'm abundant i'm just resting and rejuvenating i'm just chill but in their hearts they're actually feeling lack captive like hardship insecure um they they may be feel of losing their position because of you. Um, they're in turmoil. They're in um lack of resources. They don't really know what to do or how to move out of the situation, out of this energy. They have ruin, defeat, like failure, insolence in their heart. This is how they really feel inside their heart. But on the outside, they see you. You're beautiful. You're a star. You're bring all this love and energy. They see that you're confident, that you're secure. You're actually the king of pentacles. This person is the king of cups. And within this person's, um, yeah, this person could be resting, rejuvenating, and just trying to bring balance and just, they could seem like they're bold on the outside, like they, they're decisive, like they're good at making moves, being a boss. But that's just an outward appearance. That's just a projection of what they want you to see. What's in their hearts is really, like I told you, disempowerment, uncontrolled thoughts, doubts, fearlessness, overthinking, captivity, insecurity, hardship, poverty, uh, loss of money and position, turmoil, harshness, um, lack, lack of resources, ruin, defeat, failure, insolence, competition, challenge, struggle, trying to have the advantage, um, trying to gain defensive this is what's in this person's heart I have the eight of swords the five of pentacles the ten of uh, swords and the seven of ones in this person's heart but what they're projecting on the outside is the king of cups the four of swords the two of ones and the seven of uh, i'm sorry the, the chariot which is the set the seven uh i don't even know how to put that but it's number seven in the um Major Arcano deck. 
<laughs> uh, the chariot. And that, that's let me know that this person like want to seem like they are forward moving, like they got motion, like they are have all these dreams and aspirations. And how they see you is that you bring in all these opportunities, this good luck, all this healing, star like energy, opportunities, renewal, faith, uh, healing, rejuvenation, help, uh, unexpected help at that. Um, sweetness, gentleness, reflective, reflective self exploration, intuition, kindness, sensitivity. This is how they're seeing you. A uh, boss, bossed up, somebody that's fearless. The King of Pentacles is fearless. Uh, solid, good character, intelligent, steady, reliable, providing, uh, realistic. And this is how they see you. But the way they feel towards you on the inside is all these not so good feelings. Like we, like I said, the Eight of Swords. Boom. There you go. They're feeling stuck. They're in the Eight of Swords energy. They're feeling lack. The Five of Pentacles energy. They're feeling defeated. Ten of Swords energy. They feel like competition. Seven of Wands energy. This is not the energy. If you're connected to someone like this, it's time to move on from this person because this person is highly manipulative. When you have somebody that's in competition with you, they're highly, highly manipulative. And not only are they manipulative, they're defensive about being manipulative because they know what they're doing. Okay? I just want to give Spirit so many do a couple of these. So this is for this video. Um, I'm going to give you some zodiac signs in a minute. Let's clear these cards off the table and we're going to use another deck, whatever spirit leads me to. Which one do you want me? Okay. So I'm going to use the cards and inside spirit. Let's clear the cards. What do I need to know about this person? This person, can you give me the zodiac sign or something? What is this person? Who is this person, spirit? Who is this person? Oh. I got conf confession, a date night, a honeymoon, and a pregnancy. This person may have somebody pregnant, or they may want to get you pregnant. Um, they want to uh, like spend because it has honeymoon. Don't mean like getting married. It could be just like a honeymoon phase within your relationship. Like they want to have just a honeymoon phase with you on the date night. This is like puppy dog, like just like dating energy, nothing serious, but they want to get you pregnant. I don't see a ring here yet, so let's see. This person is a narcissist. I have the narcissist. This person is so full of themselves, so I don't believe nothing they say. They're good at, you know, mimicking, knowing what you want and mimicking it. They're very good at that. So let's see if we can get three more cards. Three more cards. Um, 800 on the clock. Please excuse the noise in the background. This is a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Or you could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Take it how it resonates. This is a general read. I told you. Move on. So it said move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. Water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So. Take it how it resonates. You are your person. Mon Sun, Moon, Horizon, Venus. Take it how it resonates you guys. Vacation, Mercury retrograde, electrical issues, communication issues, review everything. You will need to travel soon. So I'm just going to have to travel soon. You have to review everything because something is going on that you're not aware of. Um, they'll be back. So definitely taking you for granted is one other sign that they're doing. It's one other. Uh, that's what they're doing. Please excuse the noise if you can hear that. I don't know what my kids out there doing, but in a minute I will find out. One more card, spirit. Can we make it even? Thank you. Um, sexuality. Someone is still trying to figure out they are. So the reason why all of this is going on, this person is doing all this, because they don't know who the hell they really are in the inside. This person truly doesn't know whether they like men. Or women or both, they're still trying to figure themselves out. And this is someone that could be pregnant or gotten someone pregnant. Um, it's definitely following the water sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that could be pregnant and it's one in sexuality. I give them more like feminine energy here, but men carry feminine energy as well. Yeah, um, I just feel like um, they need to tell you about a pregnancy. 
about a date night, get ready to be wine and dine. So they went wine and dine somebody. They was in a honeymoon phase with somebody and got this person pregnant. And they tried to act like this person was a one night stand, but this person was not a one night stand. This person was very much pursuing this particular individual. Woo! That is too much tea for me. I'm so glad my baby days. I can still have kids, but hey, my last is eight. I'm not starting over no more. Um, well, he's actually nine now. He's not even eight anymore. I know I'm supposed to be on another deck, but I can't even. Oh, here it is. No, that's not. It. So it's, there it is. Found it. Let's see how this person feels about towards my partner. I said one more will pop out. I'm just waiting for it to pop out. So you said that's it? So five cards. Oh no, it's six. I, I didn't even see it. You and I were too young. I love you unconditionally. So this could be a twin flame connection. I left you before you could leave me. I couldn't let you get close to me. I wish I, I wish things could be different. I know I messed everything up. So this person is a can't get right. Explains everything. And they're so full of themselves. That's why they can't get right. Anyways, you guys. Peace.